Hello artists, welcome to another element of art. This is the final one in the series, which is texture. Uh, one of my absolute favorites um, as an artist uh, to draw and use texture and uh, create texture. It just makes things more real. It makes things more interesting. Um, and if you can learn to master textures, your art will just go through the roof. So texture is an element of art that defines the surface quality of uh, an artwork you usually perceive through a sense of touch. So if you have a statue and you know you touch it, it's going to feel a certain way uh, depending on how the artist uh, used uh, the material. Or it's implied visually. So what that means is if you look at this bunny right here, this is Albrecht Dürer, a very famous artist. But this looks like a real genuine fuzzy bunny right it looks like if you touch that rabbit it would be soft and plush and just uh, a sweet thing to touch because it's so soft if you if you ever have touched a real bunny they are just ridiculously soft um, and this bunny is no different so that is um, what it means to be implied visually now if you actually touched this pic painting of the rabbit, it would feel like paint on a canvas, but it it's implied. It looks like it would be soft and fuzzy. So that's what that means. Uh, I'm going to disappear here, and we'll come back to that. So this is an actual statue. Um, looks like it's made out of some kind of metal, but if you touch this headpiece right here, it would have a definite texture to it. You would feel these crisscrossing bands that stand up off of the surface. Uh, if you touch the face, it would feel smooth. Uh, if you touched, you know, on the bottom here, you would again feel these bumps and ridges. Um, so that's actual texture because you can put your hands on it. Now over here in this painting by James Whistler, uh, this guy I have no idea what this scaly creature is doing playing the piano. It looks like something from Halloween um, that we would see. He's sitting on top of a house. I'm sure it means something, but I've never researched it. So uh, he looks like if you touched him, he'd be kind of scaly and either really dry and rough or maybe kind of slimy like a fish. So that's another implied texture. Uh, James Whistler, and this is actual texture of an actual um, sculpture. So, again, just to go over this idea again, implied textures are simulated. Um, it's made to look like something that it's not, uh, like this cat and dog. Th this is not furry and fuzzy. It would just be a piece of paper and feel like paper but it's meant to look like the illusion of texture. Um, and then there's actual textures uh, that you can put your, they're tactile, you can put your hands on it and it feels a certain way, like this giant shaggy dog made out of lots of pieces of wood. Um, if you look at this guy in the background, you can see how big this actually is. It's a very big um, sculpture made out of wood. If you walked up to it and touched it, you could get a splinter because it's actual wood. So those are the simple, straightforward definitions of texture. Now, it's one thing to understand it. It's another thing to master it. Um, so this week, your theme is one of your own choice. Um, texture is in almost everything we see, whether it's a smooth texture, a rough texture, uh, slimy texture, uh, water is provides a certain amount of texture. So I want you guys to have the freedom to choose what you want to do. You have to fill up the whole page, um, but and it's got to have some sort of texture showing. That doesn't mean every single thing in your work of art has to show a specific texture, um, but more than likely they're going to anyway. Um, it's kind of like line. You almost can't help but use texture if you're really trying. So I want you to really try. Show some texture in something. Uh, you could do something really close up 
and then you can really get what that texture looks and feels like. Um, it's going to take you time, uh, but it's a very satisfying endeavor when you get it right. So have fun with that uh, and enjoy the element of art texture as you draw and create. See you later.